Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my topic is dealing with rejection or how to deal with rejection. And my subtitle is Don't Give Up. In life, people who give up never go up. No situation or condition is permanent. Challenges are part of life, but the good news is challenges come and go. When people mock you, God is ever ready to lift you and sustain you. A combination of courage and determination to succeed will give you the edge to handle rejection and eventually succeeding in life. Your ability to handle rejection determines how far you can go in life and in your career. My case study for today is taken from the book of Judges. Judges chapter 11, reading from verses 1. Now Jephthah, the Gileadite, was a mighty man of valor, but he was a son of a harlot, and Gilead begot Jephthah. Gilead's wife bore sons, and when his wife's sons grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, You shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are a son of a harlot. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of Top. And worthless men banded together with Jephthah and went out, raiding with him. Now it came to pass after a time that the people of Ammon made war against Israel. And so it was when the people of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Thoth. Then they said to Jephthah, Come and be our commander, that we may fight against the people of Ammon. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, Did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in distress? So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, If you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon, and the Lord delivered them to me, shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, The Lord be a witness between us if we do not do according to your words. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and commander over them. Jephthah was a son of a harlot. In the natural sense, all the odds were against him. Because his mother was a harlot, his brothers rejected him, and his kinsmen drove him out of his father's house. But he did not allow rejection and setbacks to distract him. Let's look at some example of people who were rejected but became great in life. The first is Thomas A. Edison. Edison worked at Western Union where he used to secretly conduct experiment on a particular night in 1867. Edison spilled acid and it ate through the entire floor. He was fired and subsequently decided to pursue inventing full-time. Today, we cannot talk about invention without mentioning Thomas Edison. The second is the professional footballer, Kylian Mbappe, a striker for French national team and PSG. He was rejected by Chelsea Football Club after one week's trial. His mother said, and I quote, my son in Bagby wouldn't come back to your team. If they want him, they should take him now. Or in five years' time, they will come back begging for 50 million, but he will refuse. At age 21, he already has an impressive CV and was bought recently for over 180 million euros. Thirdly, the current sitting president 
of the United States of America. Joe Biden, before he became the president of the U.S., has lost several runs for public office in both 1988 and in 2008. My dear brothers and sisters, don't give up so soon on your dream. Fourth, the late Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was fired from his own company, but he didn't let that get to him. But instead, he threw himself to his work and eventually returned to the company in 1997 as a CEO leading Apple to its greatest glory. And finally, Kingsley Yeboah. He was once considered a failure, was identified by an Anglican priest, went through a protracted ordination process, trained at Ridley Hall, Cambridge, and now a successful parish priest, leading St. Lawrence and All Saints Church, which today is one of the fastest growing churches in the Church of England. Even if people don't believe in you, believe that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Believe in yourself that you can still make it. Don't believe in the negative forces all around you. Your professor or your teacher can be wrong. Even your parent can be wrong. But God will never let you down. Friends, I'm going to give you a few nuggets that can help you handle rejection and failure. The first is that you must forget your past rejection and failures because you cannot move forward looking backwards. The past is gone, so forget about the past and forge ahead. Second, have a purpose something you are living for believe in your dreams believe in your visions believe in yourself if you don't have a vision or a plan for your life i will encourage you to develop one as soon as possible and start working at it if you don't know how to put that together my contact details are on the bottom of this video contact me and i will give you a template that can help you do that. Thirdly, self-development. Many failures of life and in careers are as a result of ignorance or lack of knowledge in what to do. Therefore, spend time to develop yourself and bring out the best in you. The fourth and final one, master the art of negotiation. In preparing for a grand comeback, you must learn to negotiate effectively because the same people that rejected you will come back to seek you. In the reading we had earlier, because his family and his kinsmen drove him out of his house, when the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah to come and fight for them because they have heard that he had become a great army commander, winning battles. Jephthah said to them, When I come back and fight for you, what will you give me? And they said to him, When you come and fight for us and we win, we will make you head over us. In other words, you will become our king. So my friends, if a company, for example, refused to employ you at first, and they come back seeking you to work for them. You need to put a value on your skills and negotiate effectively with them to get the best deal that you can get for yourself before you can go and work for them. Don't give up on yourself because no crisis, no condition, no situation is permanent. Challenges are part of life. The good news is, they come and go, and in the end, we always learn something of value from them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for teaching us on how to handle and deal with rejection. We pray that as we have learned about how to deal with failure and handle rejection, 
that your spirit will fall afresh upon us as we live our lives and learn to love our neighbors as ourselves and live for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on YouTube, and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>